Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write your own middleware in an ASP.NET Core application. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and first add a new folder for our middleware. And then we're going to want to add another folder for the extension methods for our middleware. And let's go ahead and call that middleware extensions. So we're going to be writing a simple piece of authorization middleware. So let's go into our middleware folder and add a file called auth middleware. Let's put our auth middleware file under the namespace middleware.auth. And let's go ahead and declare our class. We'll just go ahead and call it auth middleware. Next, we can declare our request delegate. This will be responsible for invoking the next middleware in our pipeline. And then we can go ahead and add our constructor and set that request delegate. Now we need to define the invoke method of our auth middleware. This is where the logic of the middleware is going to reside. For this simple authorization middleware, we're going to check the value of a header x authorized. If it's false, we're going to change the response status code to 401 or unauthorized. If it's true, we're going to hand off the request to the next middleware. First, we need to check if the X authorized header exists. Then we want to go ahead and check its value. If it's false, we can set the status code of the response to 401. Otherwise, we can go ahead and start the next middleware. That's it for the middleware logic. Now we can go to our middleware extensions folder and add a new file called auth middleware extensions. Let's put this under the namespace middleware extensions and let's define our static class as auth middleware extensions. This is going to have a static method called use auth middleware and this is just going to use the builder method use middleware and we're going to pass in our middleware type which is auth middleware. We also have to make sure to add a using statement for our middleware.auth namespace. Now we can move into our startup.cs file. We can add a using statement for our middleware.extensions namespace. And then we can go ahead and add our authorization middleware to our application with our extension method use auth middleware. Let's move over to our terminal now and restart our application. Now if we open up our application and use Postman to compose requests, first let's go ahead and I'll remove the X authorized header and send a request and we get a normal 200 response. Now if I go ahead and add the X authorized header and the value you can see is false, once we send that, the status code of the response is 401 unauthorized. Our middleware was able to change the response status code for the unauthorized request. So there you have it, a simple authorization middleware for ASP.NET Core.